Hi everyone, welcome back to Elmer's Restoration. Um, not really got a plan in this one, it's just all the odd bits and pieces that I need to get fixed or finished to get um, all these bits here, boxes, boxes, refurb stuff up here, and then um, parts lying everywhere pretty much to go onto here. So yeah, the plan is hopefully the next couple of videos get this subframe finished finally, then I can start moving on to another part, but there's not really much to go on it now. Just need to finish off the drive shafts, get them in, get the brakes built up and just a few bits and pieces really. So yeah, not too much and I'll be ready to move on after that. This is me using my new action camera, so let me know what you think of the picture and audio, if it's any better than what I was using with my phones. Right, first job is I'm going to touch up the swivel hubs with the slight bits that got um, chipped, so cue the time lapse. Right, start to getting these boxes cleared. Problem is I've kept everything safe so I can get to them but I've kept that many things safe, it's just a case of going through and finding it. Hoping this is brake parts. It's not. Hmm. Mm, possibility. More brake seals. More brake seals. Bleed nipple. Yep, that'll do. You didn't want to see me make another caliper, I've done that already, so um, yeah, cue the time lapse.
Right, I covered before uh, the brake discs. They'd sat and they'd just rusted away. And they're nine pound. Well, this was just under nine pound each for a new one, so that was a no-brainer. When um, when these are stored, they come in like an oily layer. It's so that when they're sitting in storage, it stops any surface rust form or anything like that. So. Um, before you fit them, just give them a spray with a brake cleaner and get them all cleaned down. That's um, I'm not too worried about these sitting because they're going to be dry stored, so they're not going to get um, damp in the garage. crap that comes off them. I'll give them another clean before they actually go onto the car which uh, yeah, no deadlines. Deadlines mean pressure. Pressure means no fun. Right, straightforward enough. The um, drive flanges you've seen me previously refurbing. Obviously, I've covered these to keep the threads clean, the hoover cleaned up. I did paint all this, but then I've cut away this bit in here because this is the bit that has to fit in here and it has to be flat to here. If it's not, the wheel wobbles in it. Yeah, it's no good. So I've just put a tiny smear of grease on just as well to help. <coughs> You know how I love grease. There we go. Just lines up. I managed to get away with um, keeping one set of the bolts that attached. The other ones were a bit grotty, so I just went for new. So one set was saved and one was bent. Just make sure they go in square and uh, once they're fully done up um, they have to be talked to 57 newton meters. So there's no point watching me screwing this in, cue the time lapse. There's one, there's the other. We are um, starting to get things together now. Right, one of my new deliveries. This was just a aftermarket set on eBay. <clears throat> I think for what they are, there's no point paying the, the full price that comes with Rover parts. Um, from what I've heard, they are um, not the greatest fit the ones that come from mini spares that either so so the um, disc shields and the fitting kit one for each side
Right, these are fairly, fairly? These are fairly straightforward put together. It's just um, two bolts attached in the middle, like that, and the um, <coughs> bracket for the steering arm goes on here as well. If you're not sure how they go on, well, you will because you'll see that video. But like I said before, I've kept the old ones just as a comparison, just to see everything's going on the same way because I like to double triple check things it saves um, finding problems later on oh I'm guaranteed I will find problems later on but uh, if I can minimise that that'll do fine so there we go looking at one there we're looking at These two like that. So, um, there you go. Both side by side, old and new. I'll get these built up <coughs> on the time lapse. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the time lapses. And um, then these can finally go in the bin. So, um, yeah, again, here's the time lapse. There you go, just a case of tightening these up. <clears throat> these can move depending on the position of steering arm later on. But four bolts, straightforward enough. Comparison, new against the old. Yep. So that must be one of the easiest jobs I've done on the mini so far. Touch wood. So here we are, here's all the parts I've been working on for the last few months. Very pleased with the way they've turned out. Some new parts, some refurred parts, some mixed and matched. But um, yeah, all in all I'm happy the way I'm putting them back on the car. The subframe has been sitting for a wee while, it's got a bit of dust on it, I should have really put a sheet over it so it's um, needing a wee bit of a clean up. But the fun bit now is getting the drive shafts back through and getting all the bits bolted on, built up the brakes, all that sort of stuff. So there's not much left in this. I say positively. <laughs> but that's probably a good time to finish there on this video. It's not been um, much to watch to be honest with the time lapses, so I don't know if you don't like the time lapses like that, if you've seen it. Yeah, I'd, I don't mind. I'd, I won't make those videos. I purely done it because it kind of just shows what I'm doing at every step, but I appreciate everyone. It's not for everyone, and sometimes people just like to watch what you're doing. Um, the problem is with all this work I'm doing is it's there's two sides to it, so I have to do it all twice. But yeah, um, let me know what you think. If you're happy with me sort of recording every bit, then that's fine. I will do. And if you're happy with me just doing what I think would be interest bits, yep. I'm out doing the work anyway, so whether I record it for you guys is it's just an extra thing, but I'll be here doing it anyway, so. Thanks for watching on this video. The next one I'm going to get all this on. And then we're getting near the end of the front subframe. Just the brakes and plumbing etc to go in. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.